My name is B'nai Winkle. I am 20 years old. I live in California and I've been doing art my entire life and I plan to do it for the rest of my life. If I was not an artist, if I didn't do art all the time, um, I would kill myself. Like, if I don't, like, art is my purpose. Um, I couldn't, like, go to college and get a desk job and not make art. Like, I just, there's no point in living that life to me. Like, I, my whole life is art. Everything I own has my art on it. I wake up every day and I go sit outside and I draw. It's like just, I have to. I have to. Like I'll paint over stuff a lot just cause like, I have to paint in one sitting because it's one emotion. And so going back to a piece is really hard because I feel different now. And so the whole thing has to be different. So I paint over pieces a lot if, if I just don't finish them. Um, but I have, like gotten pens and just ripped down canvases when I after I've painted them because I'm like I hate this or um, my boyfriend had a favorite piece mm -hmm. and we broke up <laughs> and I set it on fire <laughs> and I was like now no one can ever see this piece again like nobody deserves this and I just so I've had a couple because I do go through phases where I feel like my art is very naive or like like not mature in composition, if that makes sense. I've only taken one art class in my whole life ever. My senior year of high school, I took an art class, and then I took two months of college and tried. And did. Like, I use, I don't paint with oils, and sometimes that makes me feel like not a real artist because I just use acrylic. Like, kids in high school use acrylic. It's whatever. And I should be using a nicer, better paint with my art. But I feel like it's so simple and like childlike. That's where I struggle with it the most. Is when I feel like my art is like like little kid art. Like a little kid could have drawn this. And people will tell me that. People have been like, oh, like a little kid could have drawn that. And I'm like, but they didn't. It was me. I'm very impatient and I only paint with primary colors. Um, all of my paintings have been painted with red, yellow, blue, and white. All of them. When I have like a block, it feels like my hands forgot how to make art. Like I'll try to draw and they just don't know how. Like they just forgot. Because my art is very subconscious for me. Like I just, I don't think, I just think about whatever is going on in my life and then I just draw whatever. Like I don't think about what I'm drawing. So when I have a block, my hands just like don't know how to draw and I'll fill in like an entire page with lines. Or I just, I'll do like circles just an entire page of circles because I'm like, I don't know how to draw anything else today. Um, or like I'll try to make myself paint and it just doesn't, my hands don't work. And that's how I know I'm in a block. My blocks come from when I have other things I should be dealing with and I'm ignoring them to do art. My, the art like just doesn't work. It's like you should be, like when I was trying to look for a job, Anytime I tried to sit down to paint or draw, my brain was just like, you should be looking for a job right now. You should be looking for a job. And I couldn't make art. So it's whenever I have a lot of go a lot of stuff going on, I can't make art because I feel like I should be doing something more important, even though art like is the most important thing to me. I go through phases where I hate all of my art. And so last year I was doing art full time from May, all the way until October, November. I had to come home and everything. So I was doing it all on my own for those six months. And then I had a whole bunch of art and I had my mental breakdown and I hated every piece of it. So my plan was to set them all on fire. Um, I didn't. I decided to give them all away instead. Um, I went on my Twitter, I took pictures of all of my art pieces and I said, I have 76 pieces of art. Um, like, follow me, retweet this, like this, and I'll pick 78 or however many, like, winners. And I sent out all my art for free because I just, like, hated it so much. I was like, this is worth nothing. It's like, in my soul, like, I'll read writings from, like, Picasso or from, like, Van Gogh, and they'll talk about, like, I just, I'm incapable 
of living a regular life, I have to do art. And it's just like that, like I can't do anything else. The hardest lesson I've learned, so there was a girl named, there was a girl named Bernadette, um, and she loved shows, she would come out to shows, and we weren't really close when she lived here, but she like loved the shows, loved music, and she was going to school in Colorado, and I was living in Utah, and we became friends online, like we texted every day and talked about stuff, and we just connected really well. Um, she committed suicide, she OD'd, and so they had like a benefit show for her here, and I went to her funeral, and I had a really hard time coping with it for a long time. I went to a really dark place, and I attempted, and I didn't succeed. I went out to those rocks, and I sat, and I was drawing, and just like feeling real bad, and a bee crawled on my paper. And I decided then and there that I, like, I've made it this far, so I have to fight. Like, it's gonna be hard, and I don't want to. Like, I just wanna give up, but I have to stay for Bernadette, and for, in order for me to stay, I have to do art, so that's what I'm doing. I can't, if I like give up and get a job, I know I'll kill myself, so I never can. I have to do art, and I have to do it for Bernadette. So that is like the greatest lesson I've learned, is just if doing what, I'm lo if doing what I love is the only way I can make it, then, then that's what I gotta do, and I have to.